All right, fellow builder dreamers, gonna hike two lesser known waterfall trails today. But here in the mountainous Chattahoochee National Forest in peak autumn, it is absolutely stunning no matter where you go. So we're gonna start here at Walden Creek, which is even less popular than Bearded Falls. Gonna see why barely anyone come here. And then just 22 miles down the road, we're gonna end at Bearded Falls, hopefully at golden hour, where it's gonna look Amazing. Let's go. We're searching for a 25 foot free falling waterfall. 450 feet elevation and 2.5 miles total in the most colorful time of the year. Already very impressed. It's November 1st and it might be around the time where bears are still trying to find enough food for hibernation. So I got my bear spray. There and back for both. We're looking at a little bit over five miles today. Beautiful hike. Oh my God. A little over a mile following upstream to the serene High Shoals Falls on Walden Creek Waterfall. A small little waterfall, but I kind of like how peaceful it is. It's also very dry around this time of year, so it's not too strong. Surrounded by the leaves, very, very pretty sight. I also like how you can get right up next to it. Now it's time for Beard and Falls. Let's go. All right, getting back to the car, I can see why it's very unpopular. A very, very, very standard trail. Not too many landmarks along the way, but any hike is better than not hiking. And any hike in autumn is better than that hike usually is. Time to go to Bearden Falls. I'm in a little bit of a time crunch. Let's go. I'm not looking forward to the long winter with nothing but bald trees. Now I'm still gonna hike winter, but after a 40 minute drive west, just in time for golden hour. All right, here at Bearden Falls Trail, so far very nice autumn foliage. I was able to see some of the glorious golden hour shots with the sun now setting. And this waterfall is significantly more popular than the last one. Still not very popular at all though, but we're gonna see if it's worth it. Let's go. Maybe since we're near a ridge, this area doesn't get as much sun, but that's probably why most of the leaves already fell. Along the way, you couldn't even see the trail. Freshly fallen and still colorful leaves painted the forest floor. Sliding down the ridge off the trail, sounds of running water grew. I turned the corner and saw it. Bearden Falls. The last part of the hike was pretty steep, very narrow and slippery with all the leaves. So hidden within this forest. Something else I noticed about waterfall hikes in autumn, this is a very dry time of year for the Southeast. Instead of listening to a roaring waterfall, it's much nicer hanging out next to a much calmer, peaceful sounding waterfall. Hi, 
Hiking in autumn is amazing. Here in Georgia, autumn's roughly October 25th to November 7th, peak autumn that is. So if you're seeing this video after that, promise me something in the comments to capitalize as best as you can and hike as much as you can next autumn. It's worth it. You'll be happy with it. Is that a helicopter? Oh my gosh. Whoa, what kind of a helicopter? Are they after me? They're after, they're met, oh. That actually reminds me of the time where we saw F-15s in Linville. Jets flying through, it's so crazy, the sound is like. like they are literally, we have seen two fighter jets. Two awesome hikes close together, did them both in a roughly four or five hour span. If I can do it, you can do it. Besides the fact that I'm late, I forgot about dinner with my wife. Just made it back to the car without finding a bear. So I know both of these hikes were not the best that Georgia has to offer, but if you want to see one of my absolute favorite hikes, not only in Georgia, but I've ever been on here in the Southeast, see that video here, Cumberland Island. It has a lot of amazing American history, the best old growth forest I've ever seen, wild horses, a lot of cool wildlife, and many awesome landscape changes. Check that out. Have a blessed day.